Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. In this lesson, we're gonna paint a forget-me-not. They're small little clusters, and so we're gonna work with these beautiful blue clusters using our folk art multi-surface paint and on our reusable teaching guide. So the paint colors we're using today are Cobalt U, Wicker White, Sap Green, and Moon Yellow. We're gonna be using our Folk Art One Stroke brushes, a number 12 flat, and a two script liner. So the fun of this teaching guide, the reusable teaching guide, is that we're going to paint on top of it and wipe it off as we practice. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our stems in because these little flowers go on top of our stems. So we're gonna get our two script liner and we're gonna stroke in using the sap green. Now, when I'm doing this, I am picking up right here, the sap green, rolling it on the brush. This is the only brush I do use water with, but when we're on the slick surface, we can just pull the straight paint if you have plenty of paint on here. Now you see the arrows are going down. Then some of these strokes in here where we're putting pressure and then we're lifting, they're little bitty commas, look, push and lift. So as we're laying down, putting pressure and lifting, I'm using my little finger to help me lift. See that? And then, and it's really slick and smooth on here, which is nice. All right, and I have the arrows. It tells you everything to do, so you can practice that right there. And on the back of a little blossom, we'll come back and then we will add little stems on here, right here, by pulling little strokes. So let's wipe this off with a baby wipe or a wet paper towel so that um, it doesn't stay on here because it's very durable. All right, now I want this to be right here by you so you're visually seeing what you just practiced. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do this with straight paint like I was on the slick surface. And so if it needs water, there we go, see, we're good. I didn't know if we would need water, but we're on a really nice base coated surface with multi-surface paint. All right, so we're gonna put some of these little commas in between. And then we can push harder and make a little bit larger ones. And see how it gets a nice little tail at the end? Pressure and lift. And so you have variations of shading just using one color, all right? Now, after we put all this in here, then we might still need some more greenery, which we will have to put a few stems. So let's go, that was pretty simple. Now let's do these little five petals. Now there's different positions for these petals. The first thing we wanna start with is getting the color correct here. So we're gonna take this brush that's been dampened and dried on the paper towel. We're gonna split it here and then go right here to work it in. And this is your double loader. So the double loader helps to keep it from being muddy. I kind of control you a little bit right in here. <laughs> okay, so now we want the paint at least two thirds up the brush. We wanna come here and check it out. See if it's got enough blue. Looks like it needs a little bit more blue. All right, this is Cobalt U. Now I'm gonna turn around and have flip the brush over, and we're gonna do this single little stroke, okay? Now, to make it as little as it needs to be, tap it there a minute, we need to stand up on the chisel and not put pressure. And if you've done any other flowers with me, you'll see that sometimes I tell you to press it halfway down. All right, I put the numbers here so you can see, and I'm going to tell you that a little trick that we think in our heads 
is that if we do this like a gingerbread man where he has a head, two arms, and two legs, it makes sense to us when you're laying it out. All right? So then all we do is take the handle of the two script liner and we put a little dot in the middle. All right? But there's a couple other things I want to share with you here. You can go right in here and just reload in where you blended this and loaded your brush. But I want to show you how to layer. So we're going to go one. There's the head. There's the arm. There's another arm. And I can start here. You actually can paint the whole back flower. But then I pick up more paint and we're going to stroke over this wet on wet. And it works beautiful because of the luscious paint we're using. We're going to go one, two arms, two legs. You see how this helps you to practice? And we're staying up on the chisel. So see, these are all layered. Then we come in and put the green. But I want to show you these little buds. Okay. So we're going to come right here and we can push down and pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, and so you're just seeing it before they open up. Then this is another option where you're doing, here's a petal, there's a petal, three petals, and then here you can just do a little slash, a little slash, and it'll look like it's a piece of the flower, and then put your dot in there. All right, your center. Okay, so I'm going to just dry that, wipe this off. Got lots of practice, practice strokes there. Keep wiping it off and keep practicing till you feel comfortable. And this is very slick, so when you're trying to do the strokes, try it on a piece of paper after you got comfortable with this. With the reusable teaching guide, you, that smoothness makes the practicing easier for you. All right, so I want this right by you so that you remember these strokes up close and as you're making the little ball that come in little balls here so what we want to clusters we're going to come right in here get fresh paint make sure you don't have water if you ever think you have too much water left in there laid here and see it oh i do so it ran out all right so i'm going to pick up both those colors we've got a nice loading spot here and we're going to start now, sometimes I flip and put a dark on the outside edge too, but these I want to make sure that they're light and pretty here. So I'm going to do showing you the five petals. All right. So I'm going to, I want this all in here in this area. See how big? And then in here, I'm going to come. You're going to watch me fill this in. All right, so I'm doing the larger ones, and after I get all those in, the complete ones, I will come back and put some little side views and some buds. So we're going to overlap a little bit, keeping strong white, I mean strong blue, as we pick up the white each time. Okay, so now I'm going to add a couple of those petals that just give you a partial flower there and a little bit of these buds. Try to keep it the same color tone. So see, I need to put a little bit more white there and a few in here. Okay, now we're going to wash it. There's a couple of those that I put there. 
All right, so we're going to, um, I'm going to get some sap, green, a little bit of yellow, work that in a little bit with some white. So we have some little bit lighter areas in here. Add some more. And I'm going to use my liner for some of this. All right, so this, that gives you enough green there. And then we can come in with your liner, but we need plenty of that pink. So let's pick up. There we go. I'm going to get a little bit of water. Okay, roll your brush. All right. And so we're going to pull in some little bits of stems. Remember, we're grabbing the bud. Because I did some extra buds there, a few here. Because you want them all connecting. All right. So little commas out here. And I do that sometimes when I just want little bits of green and not actually doing a whole um, leaf. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint.